I want to talk about the uh, Vladimir Putin, Joe Biden uh, big summit that just took place earlier today. Now, this is all, all Russia talk is a media distraction from who our actual foe is. We are in a cold war with China and the media is for some reason obsessed with Russia even though Russia is a fraction of the threat to us that China is. So look, Russia collusion was a lie. Russia influence in the election through Facebook was almost non-existent when you look at the dollars that they were actually spending. All of our infatuation with China sorry, with Russia is distracting from the real foe out there which is China. And so much of this as is much of the case in the country today is cosmetic theater it's total BS. Now, I'm not very confident in Joe Biden's ability to make any sort of cogent argument. I'm also not confident in Joe Biden's ability to stand up to Vladimir Putin. I think the fact that they were not willing to have a joint press conference is a sign that the American side was nervous about how much better Putin was going to be handling messages uh, and questions and responding to them uh, than Joe Biden would be and that the disconnect between their cognitive abilities was going to be difficult to ignore if they were both responding to questions simultaneously. But the larger context here is the media is missing the ball. Russia is not the story. China is the story. We are in a cold war with China. China has effectively taken over Hong Kong. They might take over Taiwan. They are trying to take over the world. Russia has no pretensions or abilities to do that. Now, do I think Vladimir Putin is a bad guy? Yes. Do I think that Navalny and all the other uh, supporters of democracy that he has imprisoned are major issues? Yes. But I want to focus on China and standing up to China a lot more than I do Russia. Russia is a distraction that in my opinion actually ends up benefiting uh, the Chinese because it distracts so many people both media uh, and politicians and certainly the general public from our real foe which is China. Uh, And China is right now punching us in the head every single day and many people out there many corporations many people have still not realized we're actually in a modern day Cold War with China. It's not 1984. I lived through the stages of the Cold War with Russia as a kid and unfortunately my kids are now living through what I think is the similar version of that uh, going on with China right now. So those are my thoughts on the Vladimir Putin Joe Biden uh, recent meet that they had today. I also thought it was interesting that Biden got upset at uh, the media and fired back at them and all these different things CNN, Caitlin Collins at CNN I didn't think her question was artfully delivered but every time that Donald Trump got mad about the stupid questions that were asked by the news media and let me just say this right here we need smarter people covering the White House. The people who are covering the White House I listen to their questions I'm very rarely impressed with them. We need people who are the absolute apex of American intelligence to be doing these jobs as opposed to people who are constantly swaying in the breeze depending on what the current uh, Twitter feed is saying, right? Uh, We need people that are legitimately asking difficult, challenging but responsible questions and holding truth uh, and, and power accountable and I don't think that overall we have that many talented people doing that. 